Cosmos Co. Uh, now we got the, of all the years, this may be the toughest as far as pronouncing names. Coach Leach ain't lying about that. I counted 10 out of 19 players in this signing class who either have a first or last name that is a bit complicated, which makes things real fun for this broadcaster. By the way, the kid's name is Cosmos Kawiti. He's a defensive lineman. Let's dig in to who the Cougs got to put pen to paper today. First of all, as I mentioned, 19 players signed today. Leach said the position, position groups he targeted in this class were secondary, defensive line, offensive line. Four players Leach signed today were secondary players, three offensive linemen and two defensive linemen. It would have been three defensive linemen if USC hadn't flipped Dijon Benton today. It makes sense that this class has a defensive focus because of all the players who started against Washington, only three on offense were seniors. One was Kyle Sweet, which isn't an issue due to WSU's deep receiving core. However, on defense, the team is going to lose six starters on defense in 2019 and it's from all different positions that is going to be an area of concern next year. Obviously, we aren't going to get to talk about every recruit Leach got today, but we will feature the three with the highest level of offers. Let's start with Jameer Thomas, the running back from Ohio, had 12 other power five offers, but a lot of those offers were at the linebacker position, not running back. So Thomas decided the Cougs were his best option if he wanted to play offense. Thomas probably won't get much playing time next year with both James Williams and Max Borgie returning, but the next year he may play a factor. On the defensive side, the two biggest gets were linebackers, Travion Brown, who you're seeing right now, and Penny Nualu, who you are seeing now. This uh, Brown, excuse me, Brown had 10 power five offers while Nualu had seven. The Cougs have a pretty deep linebacker core as well, so we'll see if these guys can break through. Speaking of breaking through, Coach Leach says his team is starting to see the fruits of the Cougs continued success on the recruiting trail. Uh, I think that uh, impacted it some. I mean, I would guess it's hard for me to gauge that, but I, I also think that, uh, um, you know, going to a, uh, a number of bowls, uh, you know, uh, year after year, stringing together a number of successful seasons, I think uh, adds to it too. I think it uh, kind of illustrates a really solid foundation of a program that continues to get better. Two other quote unquote fun facts about this class. Seven will early enroll. Leach says that that's the highest number he's ever seen. And Leach says that the team has a few scholarships left to offer for the second offering period, which ends February 6th. We also got to talk to Aaron Best today about his signing class. The Eagles signed nine players. Here's how the class breaks down. Two offensive linemen, two tight ends, and one of the following positions. Quarterback, running back, tight end, defensive tackle, and safety. I'd expect this class to be much bigger come, Febu come the February signing period, considering the team has over 25 seniors on their roster. Coach Best said this recruiting period was a little bit different than ones in years past, considering, you know, that game that's getting played in Frisco January 5th. We've, you know, been, been obviously challenged this December playing without being able to be out like a lot of other schools uh, in the contact period. So that was challenging. We tried to do as much as we could. Um, I was kind of the, the, the guy on the road to be able to get that done and allowed the, the coaches to still game plan. So best of both worlds, we're playing and we're recruiting as opposed to a lot of teams were just recruiting and not playing. We'd love to have it that way every year.